our signing day has come and gone. Another signing period has ended, and another one has begun. Well, this 2019 recruiting started probably like two years ago for a lot of a lot of other coaching staffs around the country. But this staff is trying to get settled in and everything, get everybody hired. They they finished out this class. We'll see what they do with the next class. Hi, welcome. This is the Big Trail Network. I'm Tyson Lady Three. And uh, for you, for those of you who are new, I need you to like, comment, share, subscribe at the end of the video and. For those of you who've been around for a while, you know, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody who comes through and watches these videos. But, uh, yeah, let's let's dive in really quick, just my thoughts on this recruiting class. You know, when, when you look at this recruiting class from top to bottom, you know that they didn't have a lot to work with. You know that Chad Morris and his staff, they had an early signing period, the first ever early signing period to deal with. So they by the time they got here, what do you have, like two weeks? To, to prepare and try to convince some kids not to sign just yet at whatever school they were looking at, to so just wait, give them an opportunity, get them on campus, have them take a look at the facilities, get a little bit better uh, relationship with the with the staff at Arkansas. When you, when you think about all the things they had to work against, how long it took them to bring in a D.C., a defense coordinator, I think they salvaged a pretty good class. Now, I stand by what I said in the last video when I said there's just not a lot of there's not a lot of jaw droppers in this class. I mean, at the end of the day, that's really all you can say. There's not a lot of guys that you look at and you go, holy cow, like, wow. There, there's a couple of those. There, you know, I look at one that stands out to me is Rakeem Boyd. And we know now, I think I saw it on Twitter, where Chad Morris was quoted as saying he's going to be somebody that, that comes in and gets attention early, like year one. As soon as Rakeem Boyd gets on campus, they're just going to hand him the ball. Sounds like I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously there's some you got some you got some other running backs to compete with there, but one way or another, it sounds like they're going to try and work him into this offense. Uh, another one that stands out, well, Darius Bishop, defensive back, or he's a corner. But what stands out about him is not only is he a good sized corner, six one and a half, 195 pounds, he's legit mid four three forty time is impressive. You don't see, I mean, those tall, you know, long armed. Long limbed corners. He, he looks that way, at least from what I've seen on, on uh, you know pictures on the internet and what have you. You wouldn't think he runs a, a mid four three forty, but he does. And you know, there's not very many tall corners like that on any level that are that fast. Again, and, I, and I've been told that that speed is legit. That he is definitely at the very least a high four three. You know, when you talk speed and forty time, that's his. That's he's quick. He's fast. He's got a four star rating on Rivals. Everybody else rated him. Uh, as a three-star, that includes ESPN and 24-7 sports. Another one that kind of stood out to me, Ryan Winkle, out of uh, Memphis, 6'6", 280-pound tackle. Apparently, like, broke a bunch of records at his high school as far as knockdowns and pancake blocks. You know, I mean, so, you know, you have those kids. Then you have kids like Connor Nolan who, you know, they're rated four stars. They're top 15 in their position. You know, I think Connor Nolan was what the number two quarter or number two player out of the state of Arkansas, depending on again what recruiting site you follow. But I think he could be legit. There are a lot of people who think he's going to come in year one, and, and uh, my dad I think is one of them who thinks he's just going to come in and start. I think he's going to have some competition there. But yeah, another another kid, Mike Wood, six two, hundred ninety pounds. Again, another guy with some speed, four four speed. You know, he's impressive. So. You know, again, when you when you break down this entire class, obviously it was very defensive heavy. The two safeties. Now, I was proven wrong. I didn't think Arkansas would get a, a big surprise, and they got one. Joseph Fouché, 5'11", 190-pound safety. I think he could end up being something special. I'm also a big fan of Miles Mason, the safety out of Alabama, who had offers from uh, Florida State. Both the Alabama schools, the Crimson Tide and, and uh, the Auburn Tigers, offered him. I think he had a couple other SEC East offers. So, again, it's not a class full of full of four and five stars right and left on paper, but I think there is some potential here, and it could end up being a class that you look back on two or three years from now and think, wow, that actually ended up, that was definitely, you know, a, a quality over quantity kind of class, which it has to be, right? I mean, because they could only offer so many players with this class. They couldn't offer 25. They had, to, I think it was, what, 17, 18 players. There's still a JUCO defensive end that you need to keep an eye on who's going to announce Friday morning, February 9th, 
That's Dorian Gerald. I had to pull him up here really quick. I forgot I forgot his size. He's I thought he was I thought for some reason he was taller. He's 6'3", 260. For some reason I thought he was like 6'5", 6'6". He's 6'3", 260. Offers left and right. I mean, just name an SEC school and they've offered him. I I'm not really sure who it's down to. It looks like it's probably going to be down to uh, Florida, Tennessee, Arkansas and Texas A&M with the favorite according to 24/7 as of right now going to Florida. You never know. If he if he signed on with Arkansas, that would be something this class is truly missing, which is a true pass rusher, and something I'm not sure that they have on campus right now, to be honest with you. So that would be a huge addition. So, But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, until the next video, we'll see you around.